Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So if you guys have kind of been following my whole MIA journey over the past, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I haven't been making videos for a lot of different reasons. And if you're seeing this one now, that means that I have finally gotten a hold of my new editing software and figure out how to put videos together again since I got a new computer. So it is also, when is this? Um, September 14th. So we're right before fall starts and usually before the start of every new season, I trim my hair to kind of get it started for, you know, whatever new season has in store for my hair and for myself. So that also helps to keep me on track on when to cut my hair. But my hair has been just, it's been <laughs> really, really bad really bad so I ended up trimming my hair maybe an inch all around about um, three weeks ago so a little bit sooner than I usually do but it really really needed it so what I also like to do is do a protein treatment right around the time that I trim my hair because I want to give those newly shorn ends a nice dose of protein and strengthening to give them a nice start but my hair has just been on a whole nother level of not cooperating. My favorite products haven't been working. My styles haven't been turning out great. My hair has just not been looking or feeling its best at all. Um, so this is a twist out. Can't remember what day this is. It's just been, a who knows you guys at this point. So instead of using my number one favorite protein treatment the Affigy keratin two minute reconstructor this has been my go-to protein treatment for the past like five years i think it is my only silicone heavy mineral oil laden petroleum loving product that i use on a regular basis for the most part i try to stay um silicone free my hair just doesn't like it but it likes this stuff so this is usually my go-to but today i'm going to be using a new protein treatment this is the Eco Slay Matcha Boost Protein Shake. Their packaging is always so adorable. Let me see if it'll focus. This is some of the best lighting I've got access to right now, guys. You guys know my lighting situation is also a hot mess still. So I'm outside and it's nice and quiet outside. My neighbors are out living life right now. So this is a plant-based protein treatment with quinoa and keratin. And it says that you'll apply it liberally to clean, preferably clarified hair. So I'm going to pre-poo and detangle, then I'm going to cleanse, I guess, clarify my hair to use this, and then move on to using this protein treatment before using a deep conditioner. And it also has a chart here um, on how you should use it, how long you should use it according to your porosity and the current health of your hair and how often you should use it. So I'm like 90% sure that I'm low porosity. So it's, and my hair is, in my opinion, it's damaged. So under the low porosity slash damage category, it says you should use it weekly for 30 minutes with heat. So this is my first time using this product. So we'll see about the whole weekly thing after this first go round. But I'm going to apply this to my hair, leave it on for 30 minutes, um, with my hot head heating cap since with low porosity hair you want to open up those strands So I'm going to give it its best shot Combining it with heat and leaving it on for that amount of time and see what it does because I need all the help I can get right now. Oh my gosh mm, This has not been a cute few months y'all hence the lack of content on Instagram and everywhere else pretty much it has not been a cute We'll, we'll season over here. And it recommends following it up with the Eco Slay Banana Cream Deep Conditioner, which I happen to have. So I'm going to be using this deep conditioner after this. Very high hopes for it. I've been loving everything I've tried from Eco Slay so far. So hopefully it's gonna be three for three after I try this. We're clarified and detangled. So now on to up. I just spill water on my leg this time instead of my neck so that was fun I hope that I get some nice strengthening from this protein treatment because my hair is breaking and popping off like it's nothing um you guys have probably seen sometimes when you look through I don't know if you'll be able to see but if you look through your hair strands and you'll see like a hole in the middle that's not good my hair is severely lacking in some area probably 
my protein and moisture balance is off. Um, everything is off from what I've seen in my hair lately. But yeah, I'm really hoping that this will give me some good stuff. So let me show you guys in this lighting the recommendation and usage that I was talking about outside. You might be able to see it a little bit better, hopefully. Okay, there we go. So it goes by the porosity of your hair and if your hair is considered healthy or damaged and how long they recommend leaving it on your hair, whether you should use it with heat as well as the frequency. That it seems like they think I should use it once a week. So we'll see how this time goes like I mentioned and then kind of go from there. But I'm also going to be following up with my hothead heating cap and if you are new to hotheads they are a easy way for you to provide heat to help your deep conditioner or your treatments penetrate your hair better you just pop them in the microwave for two minutes put it on your head and it traps the heat in from the microwave and works its magic so i'm hoping that'll help things penetrate well because my hair is just freaking out <laughs> it's freaking out and as I've mentioned in my live video I don't know when this video is going up so we might have a few lives by then but I am planning to straighten my hair towards the end of October so I want to really strengthen it and fortify it to get ready for that my curls look good it's just a matter of them feeling weird and breaking on the ends even though I just trimmed but yeah I want to fortify my hair and make it feel really good and not just make it feel good but fortify it with some health before I put it through the straightening process oh wow yeah there is pure matcha in this I smell it you get nothing but matcha Ooh, it's very creamy as I've mentioned in my other two reviews for this company they don't use fillers in their ingredients they don't use any artificial fragrances so the deep conditioner doesn't have a scent, the orange marmalade, and this matcha protein treatment doesn't have an artificial fragrance. You just get straight up matcha up in here. And I am here for it. Just give me all the good stuff. None of the bad. So hopefully I can show you guys. This comes in this little pump. And because I have a lot of hair, I don't know how much of this I'm going to use, but I'm going to use enough to where my hair feels coated from root to tip because I want to get all that goodness on every strand of my hair it doesn't really have any slip to it it's not providing any sort of like resistance like it's melting in my hair nicely I'm all about the strap that's what we're here for so you can't even see the product as I am putting it onto my hair it's literally just sinking in and for a low porosity gal like me, that is a good sign. If a product is sitting on top of my hair, it's not going to do anything. So that combined with using with a hot head, I have very high hopes. So I'm really concentrating it on the ends because that seems to be where I'm having the bulk of my issues lately. So getting it on there nice and evenly. even as I'm getting towards the end of this twist here to twist the product up I'm making sure again to finger detangle just to get that coating every single strand if I can because this is where I'm having a lot of that like popping <laughs> curls coming and not the good popping like my hair is popping off type of popping so I'm on to the last section of hair the front section I've used um almost half but again this is nothing weird for my hair so don't be alarmed that I'm using so much I have to use a ton of product on my hair because it just eats product like it's no tomorrow one of the good things that I'm noticing about this is even though it's not a conditioner it is moving through my hair very easily which is very very nice because I need to get all up in these crevices so a product that I don't have to fight with to get it through my hair is always something very nice to see so I've got crown breakage I've got end breakage single strand knots curl definition seems to be lacking especially on the bottom section right here so I need it on every last square millimeter of hair 
three. Again, like a whipped, kind of creamy consistency. And you can feel the matcha in the actual product as well. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. There's like little teeny tiny little, um, I don't want to say balls, but you can, you know, just feel the product in there. So I want to make sure I'm getting the inner portions. So I just went in there with my little claw hands. Make sure I get that. And a pin each section so that the ends are kind of exposed so that while it's in the hot head, everything is able to receive, you know, the heat from the hot head to let everything penetrate well. And then again, putting this in the microwave for one minute on the outside, then flipping it inside out one minute and then popping it on my head. Ooh, it feels really good. Okay, yes, it's very, very soft. Cuticle feels smoother. Another thing I've noticed is that my cuticle has felt very exposed. Like, I don't know, it's just felt off. My hair has felt very off lately, but it feels really nice. I have high hopes for how it's going to feel once I rinse this out, but you literally can't see any of the product. So that hopefully is telling me that it is taking in all the goodness that it needs. It feels so awesome. Even wet my hair hasn't looked like awesome, awesome lately. So I'm very curious. Like right here, especially at the ends, I was noticing a lot of a decrease in curl definition. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys. So, I don't know, maybe it's just wishful thinking, but I feel like my curls are a little bit tighter than they've been looking, especially at the end. That's probably where I have the bulk of my mechanical damage still from my really bad detangling session in like March of 2019. I think that's also some residual issues from that, but I feel like it's a little bit, the curls have come back a little bit on this end, so, but yeah, the true test will definitely be when I rinse this out, so that's what I'm about to do. It feels smoother in general. I really like it. I like it so much that even though I said that I was going to use the banana cream deep conditioner, I might just skip using a deep conditioner. My hair feels soft, like softer than it's felt with some deep conditioners. Not that particular one. My hair absolutely loves that one. But I think I'd be okay just putting a leave-in conditioner in. I might even use the banana cream as my leave-in conditioner. So that might kind of do something. I don't know. As far as um, giving a deep conditioner step, still using this as a leave-in conditioner. I'm still getting like the moisturizing benefits. I'm just not rinsing it out. And this is a deep conditioner that says right on the instructions that you can use as a leave-in. So I think I'm gonna do that. But yeah guys, my hair feels awesome. It, I think it has a little bit extra curl definition than it's had. Um, now that it's fully rinsed out, I can get a better view. But I think it is a little bit curlier on the ends. It doesn't look as weak same for this side this side's been looking a little interesting um my hair is naturally frizzy so this is nothing new but i do see more curl definition peeking through than just frizz from what i've been um dealing with lately so i think this did a little something i think this did a little something so i'm gonna move on to styling my hair it is what time is it yeah it's 1 13 i'm so sleepy so i'm gonna probably put it in some twists diving into the ingredients of the protein shake we've got water subtle alcohol colza oil hydrolyzed keratin hydrolyzed quinoa matcha extract propendanol hp starch um and something else i cannot pronounce as always the full ingredient list will be down below so let's get into my thoughts of this protein treatment my hair was in a twist out or was in that set of twists for I don't know how many days, but a good little while. And I took my twist out 
two days ago my mom and I went on a little road trip to Northern Virginia for the day just to get out of this zip code because we both needed it also after I rinsed it out of my hair I noticed less little broken pieces so definitely a decrease I do find that this product is a gentler form of protein than my HG the Apogee keratin two-minute reconstructor so when I do straighten my hair you guys are probably gonna see this video in October so I'm gonna be straightening my hair this month so when I do straighten my hair I'm gonna be using my Apogee just because it's like more of a hardcore super duper protein treatment I find um, to help my hair against like heat damage and give it like some extra extra strength because I find that although I really like the results of this one it's a more gentle protein treatment which is good because I don't want to use this one all the time because I don't want to get protein overload so this one I use probably every two months I was trying to use it more often but I just find that in my routine about two months every three months is like my sweet spot when I use this but this product because it is not as hardcore as far as the amount of protein that is in it and the types of protein that are in this product I would feel a lot more comfortable using this frequently it says that I should use this for 30 minutes with heat weekly and although I probably won't use this weekly because as you can see I use a good amount I have a little bit less than half left so with the amount of hair that I have this would not be economical for me to use on a weekly basis but I would use it maybe every two weeks every three weeks but I wouldn't do that with the Apogee because it's a lot more stronger and hardcore so this protein treatment is more gentle than that one and I do find it leaves my hair softer and I do love the fact that it doesn't have mineral oil and silicones in it unlike the Apogee um, which just makes me feel really good about putting it on my hair letting it get on my scalp and everything overall I am very happy with this third product from Eco Slate that I've tried so that is three for three very cool so I definitely recommend trying this product um, if you're someone that is protein sensitive I recommend this because even if you have protein sensitive hair based on um, some articles that I've read it's still recommend that you get some protein into your hair just to help to maintain that balance so something like this might be a little bit too strong for you this is not the same as the Afigy two-step protein treatment the one that you're supposed to kind of like blow dry into your hair until it's rock hard the two-step this is the two-minute reconstructor I use this like I would a conditioner after shampooing and leave it on my hair and then rinse it right out so this one isn't um, as strong as the two-step but it's still pretty strong so if you're someone who's a little bit more on the protein sensitive side this one might be a really great solution because it's not super duper dense in various different proteins but it still gets the job done I posted on my community tab about using this and a few people said they also had good results so that's really awesome and a few others said they were interested in this so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe as well that would be awesome hope everyone is doing great and I will see you really soon in my next video take care guys bye